if you if you lo really look into what's going on in your know, transmitter, the cell transmitter, and the the microprocessor side of things, you'll realize, oh yeah, change the flash is not that easy. And uh, a few of the yeah. folks at, Nor at Nortel were very honest off record about what they're experiencing, they discovered, and they thought they had most of it worked out, and now I think they do now. They definitely do now. But it was interesting, the stories. I will say that. That's all I can say. <laughs> we was, went through the same I thing. I appreciated their, their pain. <laughs> We went through the same thing at, at Telos, and of course, I asked the same stupid, turns out to be stupid, question, or uninformed question, that a lot of folks have asked in Autel. Well, can't you just port that to HTML5? Uh, no, no, you actually can't. And talking to the developers at Telos about getting rid of Flash in certain products and getting to HTML5, they all told me it would have been a whole lot easier just to start with HTML5 instead of working HTML5 into the, the structure that they built for Flash, which is right, kind of what right. you were saying. It's, it's integral. It's a part of the, of the non-Flash code that's, that's in there. Well, yeah, so. well, you know, if, you're, if you're a code writer, anybody who does code knows that when you're building the blocks, they're built in specific to what you're doing. So it's not like yeah. as if you say, oh, I'm, I'm building like I'm at Unix, right? I've got Unix modules. I'm doing this and that. Oh, let's take this. Microsoft approach this, uh, you know, DLL and throw it in here because it does the same thing. It's just a few lines of code different. No, not even close. Flash, HTML5, same thing. Transmitter either on, off, overpower, underpower, no modulation, too much modulation. That's the kind of thing that can happen if you just decide to port over from Flash to HTML5. That's Those are the side effects you may not want to have, you know. <laughs> so I, I think, and, and we're almost done chatting about it, be sure you go to nautel.com slash webinars to register. And I would say that there's probably a whole lot of engineers. You're probably, you may be, unless you're, well, I doubt that Chris would get himself into this situation like I have. But I'm still on version one firmware on my Nautel transmitters. I haven't upgraded any of them since we bought it. I know, shame on me, but you know what? They come on when they're supposed to, they read the power, they cut back if there's ice on the antenna, and they shut off when you tell them to shut off. And so why would I upgrade the firmware? And the AUIs have worked fine. I don't use them much, but um, but now that uh, it requires Flash to use it, I need to upgrade. And so maybe you're like me and you want to know all about the process of upgrading from <clears throat> version one firmware in your old Nautel transmitter to something more modern, go to this webinar, nautel.com slash webinars. Thanks a lot, Jeff Welton.